Hey there, so we're going to work out some parameters of DC circuit. We will start with the total resistance, we'll go on to find the total current, then we will find the volt drop across each of the resistors, and finally the total power. For each stage we will also show you how to do this in simulation, so you can use simulation to confirm the results of your calculation. With this type of circuit, the first stage is always to find the total resistance. For a series circuit, that's very simple, you just add each of the resistances together. When we add their values, we get 1000, plus 100, plus 10. Therefore the total value, in terms of resistance, for a series circuit, is 1000. 110 ohms. The next stage is to find the total current. Ohm's law tells us that current in any circuit is equal to the applied voltage divided by the resistance. We have a voltage of 12 volts DC and a resistance of 1110 ohms. I've got an online calculator here to help us with the next part. 12 divided by 1110 gives us a total current of 0 0.0108 amps. And we can underline that. The volt drop across each resistor will take the current, which is a constant in this circuit, and multiply it by each resistance in turn to find each volt drop. Ohm's law tells us that voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. We have three resistors and a constant current. So to find the pressure drop, or the volt drop, across the first resistor, we'll call it V1, it's equal to the resistance, 1000 ohms, times the current flowing through it, 0 0.0108 amps. We go to our calculator. ten point eight volts. Now one thing to note, each of the resistances is ten times smaller than the preceding resistance. Resistance two, R2, is one hundred ohms. If we're using the same current, that must mean that the volt drop across the 100 ohm resistor is 1.08 volts. In other words, it's 10 times smaller. And similarly, the volt drop across the 10 ohm resistor will be 10 times smaller again. 0 0.108 volts. When we add these three voltages together, we see our result is very very close to 12 volts and this is your check your volt drops, the sum of the external volt drops in the circuit should come very very close to the applied supply voltage this is known as Kirchhoff's voltage law finally power dissipated there are three ways of working out power they are the voltage times the current, or they are the current squared times the resistance, or finally the voltage squared divided by the resistance. Because we know both the voltage and the current, it's very easy to do the first one, which gives 12 times 0.0108 we do that on the calculator
gives us a total power dissipated for this circuit of 129 milliwatts or 0 0.01296 of 